What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to another episode of What's in the Box AMD Edition. Now, as you guys can see, the setup is kind of different. Also, the lighting is very crappy and I apologize. I finally moved to my new location and I'm shooting with a different camera, by the way. So the quality may not be the best. I got the A6500 right now and I got the G7 up top, which is my overhead camera. So I've been kind of going back and forth with the Red Raven. Anyways, that's a completely different story. Let's not get sidetracked. Um, so yeah, I got some Vegas samples, as you guys can see. But before we jump into that, of course, I want to open up some fan mail that's been sitting in my storage room for about the two months now. I've been very busy with the move, as you guys can probably tell. I've been unpacking things, setting things up, ordering stuff. It's just been chaos this past month. Also, I have a new P.O. box, by the way, somewhere that's very close to my home. So the Chatsworth one is no longer valid. So I'll have a link below in case you guys want to send some stuff and have it featured on what's in the box. But anyways, moving on to some fan mail. Let's open these up real quick. Whoa, I just got a CPU. What the heck? I know you already have a lot of RAM sticks, so I decided to send you this old CPU I found. I hope you like it. Keep up the good content. Greetings from Croatia. The question is, email, does this CPU even work? And what the hell is this exactly? It's an Intel Celeron 2.4 gigahertz. If it works, maybe I'll do a PC build. Who knows, around two, three hundred dollars. But thank you email for sending in the CPU. This one feels like a t-shirt. Yep, yes, it is. Whoa. The lighting is so bad right now. I apologize, guys. The sun is setting down right now. This is literally the worst time to shoot a video here at the office because I can't turn on my studio lights. So yeah, I have no choice. I gotta make this video now because I gotta get these things out of the boxes and start benchmarking it because the NDA releases in two days. I gotta get these videos ready for Monday. My name is Jason, I'm 26 and I live in Montana. About two years ago, I started planning my build for my first ever gaming computer. I watched a ton of your videos. This brings me to the t-shirt enclosed. I have been working on my brand Tuxedo Flamingo, that's an interesting name, over the last few months. Uh, there are tons of people that know me by my build style, but I'm trying to get my name out there more. So this dude's name is Tuxedo Flamingo. Apparently he does some pretty cool custom loops and he has his own brand and logo, which is a flamingo and a tuxedo. How interesting. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Jason, for sending this in and the t-shirt as well. Best of luck on your new brand. I hope it works out. Thank you again for sending it in. So this next one is from Office Depot uh, or Office Max. Are they even the same company? I don't even know. But anyways, it's just it's addressed to Source Tech. I don't know if that's a troll or an honest mistake because I don't know how hard is it to mess up tech source, to be honest. I think it's a troll, but it's pretty funny. Um, so, okay, this is just a catalog for Office Depot. Does Office Depot watch me? Low-key, if you guys are watching and want to sponsor an episode of Setup Makeover, hit me up. One more box and then we're moving on to AMD stuff, I promise. This one is also fan mail. I don't know what on earth this can possibly be. Maybe a painting or... It's too light to be a skateboard. I don't know, let's check it out. So this says, please don't cut bubble wrap off. Just be careful for what's in the box episode. This literally is shaped like a skateboard. What the heck is this? I know you said don't cut the bubble wrap off, but I gotta get the tape off somehow. Whoa, what? What is this? Looks like a black and red skateboard top board. What is this even called? I don't even know. It's got my tech source logo, although it's missing the outline. That still looks pretty dope. And one of my previous drafts of my logo. That looks pretty sick. And I've been watching you and your videos for the past year or so now. I watch every video you post. I especially love your setup board series which inspired me to make my own badass setup, which I'll be submitting for an episode in the coming weeks and what's in the box. So I made you a Game of Thrones slash tech source board. It's not perfect, but I put a lot of work into it. I don't know if I know how to ride one, but to be honest, I would be honored if you'd hang it on your wall. 
that's what I would do. Keep doing what you're doing and I can't wait to see the What's in a Box episode where you open this. Thank you, Nathan Pollock. Nathan Pollock, honestly, dude, who's calling me right now? I had no idea this was Game of Thrones as well. I don't really see, oh, I almost forgot. Here is the three-headed dragon, whoa. This is the Targaryen, House Targaryen logo, I'm guessing that's what that is. I was kind of questioning why it was Game of Thrones as well. That is freaking sick, dude. The etching on there is nicely done. You've been watching my videos for a long time because I only mentioned that a few times that I represent House Targaryen. So props on that, Nathan. Seriously, you're the best. You are awesome. Thank you so much for sending this in. I will find a way to put this somewhere in my setup. Maybe when I'm working on my setup tour, I'll have this in the background somewhere. Seriously though, this is amazing. Thank you so much for sending this in. It's a shame I don't ride skateboards. Then again, I wouldn't dare damage something this beautiful. So this is definitely a work of art and I would hang, I'd rather hang this than step on it and ride it. Thank you again, dude. All right, so there's no more fan mail. Now it's time for the AMD stuff, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are here for. So I actually removed the box from this one, uh, but I didn't take it out of its packaging. I left it just like this for this video. Um, all of this stuff is under NDA, unfortunately. I cannot talk about specs, I can't talk about pricing, I cannot talk about anything. The only thing I can do is show you guys the actual product and the actual boxing, unboxing. And also, this is not the retail packaging, guys, so the stuff you see in here are just press samples, so don't expect this to be retail packaging. Anyways, so yeah, don't expect any packaging like this if you were to buy it from a store. But anyways, let's open this up. So I believe this one is the RX 64. You can see the Radeon RX Vega logo over here. Looks like there's a flap. Let's pop this open. There is a tiny brochure. What does it say? Until now, game developers have been shackled by hardware limitations, unable to witness the full extent of their imaginations. A lot of hype in this Vega stuff, guys. Oh, wow, this is very clean. What the heck is this? It's like a glass cube. This looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. It would have been awesome if there was like a text source logo engraved on here. That would have been really sweet to put on my desk. I don't know exactly what that is inside, but it looks freaking awesome the way they did that. I don't know if you guys can tell through the video, but there's something inside that represents the Vega logo. You don't see Intel coming up with packaging like this. You guys need to step up your game out there. So we got a wrist strap in here, Radeon RX Vega. We got some screws and I don't know if this is a real working GPU chip, but they've included like a mock-up or a model of it inside here. That is pretty cool. No, I think, yeah, this is definitely a model. This is not working. Let's put this aside, check out the rest of the stuff and the GPU itself, which is surprisingly heavy, actually. Wow, this is nice. A lot of you guys know that I wasn't a fan of the original GPU reference designs. It was very bland and just, just wasn't a fan of it. But this, this I like. Very sleek, very clean design. So there you have it guys, this is the RX Vega 64 water-cooled GPU. So this one's supposed to compete against the GTX 1070. And as always, make sure you guys stick around because you will see my benchmarks on these. All right, next up is another AMD sample. I wonder what this one might be. Oh, hallelujah. And speaking of old reference designs, it is the same design, which I, I said before I'm not a fan of, but it's not about how it looks, it's about how it performs. So, and as always, I will be putting this to the benchmarks right alongside the RX 64. I'll be comparing it against the GTX 1070, the 1080, and as well as the 1060 and bring you guys full coverage on those as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I also wanna ask you guys, what type of content other than benchmarks, of course, that you wanna see done with these two GPUs? Do you want a super high-end build or do you want a balanced mid-range build? Or let me know in the comment section what you guys wanna see done. All right, let's not mess around with this. So aside from the GPU, I did get some hardware to help me with the build. Uh, this first one is from MSI, I believe. Let's see what they sent me. So this first one is the Cooler Master 240. It looks like it's their new 
CPU cooler that supports the AM4 socket. Surprisingly, this doesn't come with uh, thermal paste applied. So I'm assuming that they're gonna supply you guys. Good guy, cooler master. It looks like they did supply you guys with thermal paste. So that's always cool. So yeah, the Cooler Master 240 millimeter AIO cooler. Very excited to use this in one of my AMD builds coming up on the channel. So make sure you guys stick around for that. Speaking of AMD builds, guys, um, a lot of you were wondering why you didn't see any Threadripper coverage on TechSource. The real reason was I didn't get any samples. I've been awake every night since then, contemplating, wondering why. Why did AMD not send me any Threadripper samples? Is it something I said? Am I not good enough? What is it that I don't have that other much smaller channels do? This made me question the choices I've made. Please, AMD, tell me. I thought we were friends. I guess I was a bit naive. I knew all along who my true friends really are. Thank you, AMD, but it's time to finally move on. All jokes aside, I am not mad at AMD. This, I was just joking, guys. Uh, they did send me RX Vega samples, so obviously I'm grateful for that. So thank you so much. Um, I was just kind of confused at one point why other channels got it, not me, but it's all good in the hood. Uh, I will try and get my hands on Dreadripper samples, even though it's going to be late because I do want to do some builds with the 1950X. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for that specifically. So I will give you guys what you want. Just give me some time to get a hold of some samples as they come in. Final package is also from AMD. Again, thank you guys so much. Oh, I did not even know they were sending me this one. So guys, this is a 27 inch 4K gaming monitor from ViewSonic, holy moly. All right, it's gonna be a lot of work to open this one up, so I'm just gonna leave this one closed for now. I'll drop a link to it though down below in case you guys wanna check it out. So apparently this has Ultra HD IPS panel and it's got AMD FreeSync. So that's one of the reasons why they sent this to me so I can do my benchmarks on it. Uh, very excited to check this monitor out though. It's a 4K display from ViewSonic. Wow. So that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed my What's in the Box videos, make sure to leave a like to show your support. And if you guys didn't like it, feel free to dislike as well. That is cool too. A huge thanks to AMD for sending this in. I have a lot of work to do this weekend, apparently. Also, huge thanks to Nathan for sending the freaking skateboard thing, dude. That's freaking sick. I still gotta figure out a place to put that. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know again, guys, in the comment section what you want to see done with these two GPUs. If you wanna see a build, which one do you wanna see a build with? The RX 64 or the RX 54? But that will do it for this video. As always, anything mentioned in this video will be linked below if it's available, of course. I will see you in the next one.